For those who have watched Jackie Maribe on television for the last decade or so and even seen her in court, there is no doubt as to her mental wellness. It is for this reason that it came as a surprise when the judge sent her back to detention and ordered a mental evaluation before she takes plea at the end of the week. Incarceration of the second accused. Taking plea changes the status of a suspect. When she pleads, she becomes an accused person for charges will have been preferred and a guilty or not guilty verdict entered. This is very important, especially in a case that carries capital punishment. First, uh, the goal is to determine whether the person understands the charges against the, them so that they know what they are being charged with and what it entails, uh, what the elements of that charge are. And the second thing is to determine whether this person is able to instruct counsel, whether they are able to instruct an advocate so that they, they can uh, defend themselves. And the third thing is whether they can follow court proceedings. In other words, what the judge says, if they can answer questions and so on. This kind of assessment comes right at the top of a trial. The judge also uses this report to decide whether the suspect should be tried or not. The role of the psychiatrist who is doing the evaluation is not to help the suspect to defend themselves or to help the prosecution to win the case. It is to help the judge to arrive at a just determination about whether this person should be tried or whether this person should not be tried. Once this is established then, the court is able to allow the suspect to plead. So the judge might determine that uh, then this person should be taken to a state hospital and uh, receive treatment if the psychiatrist recommends so or be uh, you know, uh, taken through processes that will improve their ability uh, to be able to understand. And if it is determined that this is not possible, then they might decide, uh, in some cases, they have decided that this person should be detained at the pleasure of the president, or they might decide that this person has no criminal responsibility or is incapable of, uh, of, of having criminal responsibility and might release them. During the trial, the defense can raise temporary insanity where the court will be told that the suspect was not able at the time the crime was committed to know right from wrong. At the end of the trial, in mitigation, the accused person can also use the psychiatric evaluation report. The suspect found guilty will then admit having committed the crime but ask the court to reduce the sentence or ask for pardoning, citing the state of mind. Who should undergo a mental assessment and who shouldn't is a legal uh, decision. Um, all we do as psychiatrists is that when somebody is sent to us, we answer the questions that we are asked. At the end of the day, a mental assessment is beneficial to all parties involved in a trial process and not only the suspect or the trial judge. Even the prosecution benefits from the report which they use to determine the course of the case. Ken Mijungu, NTV.